stem cell therapy, a buzzword, but is it a trend or is it a procedure that can help you? Well, to shed some light on stem cell therapy, we welcome Dr. Vincent De Pasquale. Doctor, how are you? Doing good, thank you. We're I excited you're here because I feel like I don't know a lot about stem cell therapy and I'm assuming maybe you at home don't either. So let's explain what it is and really why you wanted to come and, and educate people in a way. Yeah, and I think that's important. So um, stem cell therapy or regenerative medicine is not science fiction. It's simple biology. And, and the best way for me to explain it to, and what I do with my patients, is it's this paradigm shift. You know, we're used to, at least in the United States, in thinking that there's only one paradigm in healthcare. But mm -hmm. there isn't, there are many paradigms in healthcare. The issue is that the prevailing healthcare system in this country specifically, there really are only two tools associated with how we treat or take care of people, and that's drugs and surgery. And the, the analogy that we use that makes the most sense for our patients in terms of that shift is essentially they're the fire department. If your house is on fire, please call the fire department. They're gonna bring axes and fire hoses, drugs and surgery, and if they get there on time, they'll save the life of your house. It's absolutely appropriate in that situation and they're amazing at what they do, but when they leave and the house is in shambles, you can't call them back the next day to rebuild it because they only have axes and fire hoses. And that's where we come in. We're repair and maintenance specialists and the tools that we have are appropriate during the chronic and degenerative situations that we see in this country that are the prevailing um, you know, leading causes of death in terms of illness. I like, good analogy by the way, yeah. I'm liking the analogy, but talking about this shift and kind of changing the way that people think, what have you seen and why is that so important? Um, what have what, I, what has I seen in terms of treatments? Yes, as far as patients, as far as what people have been able so to here's, experience. So here's what I see. Help. Here's what I see. Uh, most of the patients that come to us, they're very frustrated with the standard of care. And mm -hmm. the reason why is because drugs only manage symptoms. It doesn't provide a long-term solution in terms of overcoming problems. So let's use an example like an osteoarthritic knee. It's characterized by damaged cartilage. So it doesn't matter how many times we mask the symptom associated with that, the cartilage will continue to degenerate until eventually we need surgery. So essentially that doesn't actually improve the quality of the patient's lives and allow them to function on the level that they would like or that they would prefer. So they reach out to us for solutions in that paradigm because that's where most people are in this country. Houses aren't always on fire. Most of the people that come to see mm -hmm. us have chronic degenerative conditions that just require a different set of tools. And because we carry a different set of tools, that's the reason why we can see a different set of outcomes. And when it comes to those outcomes, you use the knee as the example. What mm -hmm. are some other patients that would benefit or, or stem cell therapy would be a good option for? So any individual who's um, dealing with a condition that is chronic and degenerative that is characterized by damaged or dysfunctional tissue. I know that that's a mouthful and that doesn't make I'm sense to anybody. I'm glad you said that, not I. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Most of the applications that we provide are for arthritis or joint related problems like meniscus tears and osteoarthritis from a degenerative standpoint. We can treat spines, we can treat knees, we can treat shoulders and as a result we can repair tissue and provide a long-term solution long-term outcome in terms of reducing symptoms but more importantly allowing them to do the things that they enjoy and, and achieving some level of quality of life but the most important thing is that in order to achieve those outcomes the right tools have to be used and that's why I'm kind of here today is to kind of explain what that means and how you can look out for those things and I was gonna say look out for those things because I feel like you do hear this a lot you hear mm -hmm. a lot of people offering this as an option but you're saying people need to be aware I think they do, yeah, and, and what we tell patients is, look, it's not my job to tell you what to do. It's my job to educate you so that you can make the best decision about how you're gonna go about solving your problem. Mm -hmm. You know, it's up to you, it's your body. And the reason we do that is because you have to play an active role in your healthcare in this paradigm. I'm gonna ask you to do things that are generally healthy so that we can achieve our goals. So what we have to do is we have to educate ourselves and you have to look out for opportunistic doctors and business people who see stem cell therapy as you know a growing market and essentially the, the fastest growing sector in healthcare and it's the future of healthcare for certain, but ultimately only if you apply it in the right manner. So we see a lot of off the shelf products, amniotic fluid, placenta material, even mm -hmm. umbilical cord blood, which contain no living tissue or no living stem cells and therefore cannot provide the outcome that we can, whereas we're harvesting living viable stem cells from an individual and then delivering them to an area that requires healing on the same day. Um, and that's how you achieve the goals that we can achieve. Why does that make the difference, what you were just explaining? And, and how, why do you want people to know that that's what you offer versus other options that are out there? 
Well, I really want the general public to understand how powerful this, this style of medicine is and mm -hmm. how powerful these tools are. And what happens is when they go to um, clinics that are fly by night that essentially provide these products, remember that they don't need any training. Um, they don't, you know, they don't publish literature. They're not involved in the circles that we're involved in in terms of mm -hmm. being on the forefront of the medical technology. They just basically order some product and inject it into people. There are no living cells in that product based on third party testing, which we're going to provide for the viewers. Um, but at the end of the day, it just doesn't provide the resources that we see or not the resources, the outcomes. So what happens is patients think stem cell therapy doesn't work and doctors specifically see their patients fail yeah. and say it doesn't work. I'm not going to recommend that for my patient. Right. And that does the general public a disservice because they've never been exposed to true stem cell therapy or regenerative medicine in a model that can promote the outcomes that we can. I have great job explaining everything. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on today. And if you want more information, maybe you've got some questions that Dr. Dave Pasquale can help you. I know he'll be willing to help you as well. We're going to go ahead and share some of his information. There's the phone number. There's a website as well to get more information for yourself. Doctor, thank you again for coming on. This You're was welcome. great. This was enjoyable to talk about. Thank you.